Thank you, thank you. Well, this uh, particular song I'm going to do for you tonight is an old poem that was written back about 1910, and it's about two cowboys who had a run-in with the devil up on the Nevada, Sierra Nevada mountain range, and uh, we just happened to run into him down there on Venice Beach Boardwalk today. Way up high in the Sierra Peaks where the yellow jack pine grow tall. Buster Jig and Sandy Bob head around up camp last fall. They'd taken horses and run an iron and maybe a dog or two. They swore they'd brand every long haired calf that come within their view. Any old doggy with flat long ears had never brushed up by day. Got his long ears whittled and his old hide scorched in a most artistic way. One fine day, Sandy Bobby he throws his easy go down. Said, I'm sick and tired of this burning hair. I'm quitting and going to town. So he saddles up, he hits a low for on no side of a ride. Them was the days when a buckaroo could all up his inside. It starts a raw at Kentucky bar at the head of Whiskey Road. And it winds her up at the deep old house some 40 drinks below. They then sets up and turns around and goes the other way. Tell the God forsaken truth, them boys got drunk that day. As they was riding back to camp, packing a pretty good load. Who should they meet but the devil himself come prancing down the road? The devil says, you cowboy skunks, you better hunt your hole. For I've come up from hell's rim rock to gather in your soul. But Sandy Bob says, devil be damned, we boys is kind of tight. And you ain't gonna get no cowboy soul without one hell of a fight. So Sandy Bob punched a hole in his rope and he swung her straight and true. He latched her on to the devil's horns, he'd taken his dallies too. Well, Buster Jiggs, a red a man with his gut line coiled up neat. It built a loop and throwed her down and roped the devil's hind feet. Well, they stretched him out and they tailed him down while the irons was getting hot. They cropped and swallowed for his ears and branded him up a lot. They pruned him up with a dirty horn and saw and nodded his tail for a joke. Then rode off and left him there neck to a black jacko. So if you ever up high in the Sierra Peaks and you hear one a hell of a wail, you'll notice that devil a bellerin' about those knots tied in his tail. <laughs> 